One day when the glory comes, it will be ours. It will be ours. Oh, one day when the war is won, we will be sure. I vividly remember when Zill was about two weeks old and, I, and Janae was like three months old. And Zill was just in my husband's arm and Janae was just looking like, who is this we have here? And so they're like three months apart in age. But they've always been together because they were, Zill's my only child, so the closest family was Janae and the rest of the kids. And we were always <coughs> together, so we have tons and tons of uh, pictures at Disney World, I'm so glad those days over with. Disney World <laughs> Universal Studio, you know, we had them all together, and everything they did, they did a lot of things together. They started our roommates together, so they've been through this thing a lot. Zia, she would come to me, and she would call me up, and she said, Oh, Mama, I have this test, and I can't do that, so I need to write this unit. Don't talk to me, girl. It's been a long time since I've been to school. Go to a tutor, you know, go to a tutor. Didn't your mom help her out? I said, she's a little young. <laughs> she, <laughs> she writes a lot. I don't have it here, you know. But I'm just so proud of them. I'm very, very proud of them. They started out together, and they ended together. But man, let me tell you, they, at that last, last, last week, Janine was testifying. And Z was cold crying by J school and the people not giving them much time for papers and work, you know. I don't think I'm gonna be able to graduate this year. I don't think I'll be able to graduate. I'm graduating probably April. They just call my name. I say, no, we're gonna finish this thing in December. So I just, we prayed, we prayed, all of us prayed for both of them. Prayed, Jesus, please, Lord, please. Let them get finished with this stuff. And finally, I would talk to Z. I said, I don't know what I'm gonna get today. Am I gonna get an upbeat Z? Or am I gonna get a a solemn deal. So when she called back and said, so you sound a little upbeat. Yeah, he gave us another week. So now I can get my portfolio together and everything. So I was really happy. But I'm just so proud. I'm proud of all my nephews. I told the parents, you have uh, Javiel that's finished and got his MBA. You got Jarrell got his master's. You got Janae. I said, now they're going to have to really set high bars for their kids. Because their parents got three going through. And the same thing will be for Zill. So we want that legacy to keep going on with educating your children because it's important. And it's hard for African American children out there to get jobs. I watch it every day. I substitute teach sometimes. I mean, I'm retired, but I go and sub sometimes. And let me tell you, those kids are something else. You know, I try to help them. But the attitude of the kids from the young parents that they have, it comes and it shows in the classroom. And I just want to take them and embrace them and say, look, baby, if you don't get it now, you're going to lose it. Because if you keep progressing, it's not going to go backwards. So I just want to um, congratulate them for everything you've done. And appreciate you all coming to celebrate with us. For all of you, my children, to be blessed. Uh, they call me at my church. Bless Father. Uh, Oldest son graduated, middle son graduated, and my youngest son, uh, youngest daughter graduated. <laughs> and I thank God for all three. And uh, and uh, I like to thank also uh, congratulate Janae and Zeal for accomplishing what they set out to do. And Zeal always been quiet to me. Uh, she, uh, her father and I. I know he'll be very proud because I'm filled with joy when today and her both graduate and accomplish what they did. I thank God for that. And uh, Janae, I'm really proud of her because she's my baby and she has really made me proud. And I thank her. Uh, I remember when Janae was a little girl. She used to always bump her head on the couch. <laughs> 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 oh, don't go there.
far as uh, in school and everything. <coughs> Janae, she kind of struggled, but she stayed in there. She was determined. I remember one time when she came home and told me that, uh, she said, Dad, I know how to swim. She was a little girl. I said, you learn how to swim? She said, yeah. She said, I jump off the high down boat. I said, you got to be kidding. <laughs> and so my uh, mother and I, we had to go down there to see it. Sure enough, she a little old bitty thing way up there on the high dive boy, and she jumped off. And I said, oh, this girl, I think she's going to be all right. <laughs> she's doing very well. And uh, so Janae, uh, I remember when she was, uh, uh, as far as my uh, brothers, following her brothers around, I knew that they had her back and had her protection because everywhere her brothers went, she just felt like she was safe. Uh, when they went to the carnival and to the fair, she'd get on every ride. My brother get on my pastor, he would say, man, I couldn't believe Janae wasn't afraid to get on these rides. I said, as long as the, the boys get on there, her brothers get on there, she gonna get on there. But uh, not by herself. She's not there by herself. She, I mean, if she's by herself, she's not going to do it. But uh, her brothers, Janae would definitely try it. I knew that she was going to be all right. But Janae made a decision when she was a little girl going to, into high school. Uh, all her friends went one way, and Janae chose another path. And I said, oh, my goodness, my little daughter growing up, she's maturing. Because she chose a different way, and uh, other than her, what her friends did. She went into the ROTC and seen her develop into the character that she is. I said, I knew she was going to be all right. And so, uh, again, I thank God for you, for following your own path, your own decision. You make a father proud. I'm blessed. And, uh, and I thank God for it. church in here today, but I'm going to talk about Zia first. Zia is, um, and I know my Uncle Lee will be proud, Zia is more like a niece to me instead of my first cousin. She seems like my children's first cousin, but her mom is my aunt, you know, and we love you, Zia. We're very proud of your accomplishment. I know at first it got a little rough. I remember when we were over at the classes in Orlando, I thought we were going to be driving back to Duval County with Zia. <laughs> it was kind of, you know, it was kind of rough there at first. I said, just hang in there to be all right, you know. But I am also a graduate of Florida a and also. You know, so it's just so, um, I am so filled with joy that all three of my children have graduated from Florida Agriculture and Mechanical yes. University. Yes. I had Drive Yell on the Hill, who we had with um, overalls on when he was little, my foot heel when you're, you know, it's in his blood. He, he, I mean, I tell people, this is my child. So he took it to another level when he came to FAMU. Because he, sure. he really, truly bleeds the orange and green. He does. And it just has trickled down to the family, you know. But I'm um, very proud of Jarrell and now my baby, Nene. Yeah, I know Janae got an attitude. I don't know where she got that from, but I know she does have an attitude because she loves to tell me. I'll be like, I'm the mom. Oh, grandma, grandma. Mm -hmm. That's who it is. Oh. No. Oh. <laughs> I'm always calling her, you know what I mean? I know sometimes she ignore my calls, but I'm going to continue to call her, right, Dominique? I know she does. But I continue to call her. But I know Janae now, because Janae will, she's mouth, and she'll talk, talk, talk. Mm -hmm. I mean, you can't get a word in edgewise with Janae at all. Well, she get like that, but I don't learn now that all I have to do is just be calm. And next thing you know, Janae gets silence. Right, Janae? The phone is going to click. Right? <laughs> And so right then, I know she's going to call me back. You know what I mean? Once she composed herself, she's okay, you know. But truly, Janae graduated on my birthday yesterday. And oh, that's another. Baby. She was actually born on her dad's birthday. Now I have a special day with my daughter. Mm. She graduated, like I stated, on my birthday. So that's a joy as well. That's why she's the favorite. And I know that Janae has determination, <laughs> you know. Um, and she um, she's a very strong man. Her faith is strong in God, you know, because I know that he makes all things possible, you know. And as far as with Janae, we say much prayer, much power. I say that with all of my kids, you know. And I send them Bible verses almost daily, almost daily. You know what I mean? Like sin, you know. I always, 
you know, just keep them lifted up in prayer because I know that it is only because of God for, you know, bringing them this far. And Miss Janae, you did it, and I know it's much more to come. And I know that you're able to, her confidence level has even been built up, you know, and I just thank you all for being her friends. You know, uh, she is loyal to her friends. This is her, um, uh, one of her classmates here, Bria. And I remember her and Bria in middle school, you know what I mean? They were like at odds, so and here we go look at today. She's here for, to support your name. So their relationship has grown over the years, you know, and they both have matured, and I'm just thankful for that. She's one of the ones, like you said, Gayla, she's there, you know what I mean? And she will be there through thick and thin. You know, I know sometimes we have to get all the distance for a moment, and I know the times when you were ignoring her fault, Phone calls, Gayla call. She Gayla won't pick up. Gayla won't pick up. I said, she'll she'll respond soon, Janae. And I'm quite sure Janae is the same. You know, but anyway, I just want to just thank God and I just like I said, it was my alma mater for you all, all three of my children. You know, that's just a great accomplishment. And I know that me and um their father, you know, um, we even got pictures when I was in Cropper Hall and stuff, you know. So it's just good to just see that and just to see as far as what education, you know, I mean it's power. So you all are all great achievers, you know, and have a lot to look forward to. I'm just thankful and blessed. It's just good when we can be amongst our own race and see all the education that's here, these minds, you know, just full of knowledge, you know, and we know knowledge is power. Miss Janae, I love you, and I wish you well. And Zia, I love you, and I wish you well also. And I know that you all are going to be great. and. Uh, I look forward to it. Wherever you all live, just send me a um, ticket here and there, every now and then, so I can come and visit. <laughs> Love you. Thank you. Thank you.